Okay, so uh, yesterday I did uh, generate a mesh for the ground and structures uh, for the retaining wall here and strut, the two layers of strut, and this one is uh, surcharge and boundary conditions and self weight. And also, uh, I did make the water level for every excavation stage. So uh, let me start to make the analysis stage. So under this analysis tab, uh, you can see the stage set and analysis case, this one and this one. So uh, I will create a analysis stage using this stage set. Right click on here and add construction set. And I will keep this name. And under here, the stage type, uh, you can choose uh, stress, C page, uh, stress, C page, coupled analysis, and consolidations, and fully coupled, and others. Uh, in this session, I will use a stress stage type. So click add. Okay. Uh, when you double click this one, you can see this window, or I will close. And uh, when you open this stage set three, you can see the created consumption stage. And also you can edit directly from here, edit. And uh, you can zoom it out with your mouse wheel. Yeah, okay. So uh, under here, you can see the show data here, and you can choose or, or activate or deactivate. I will choose activate data. Then uh, there is nothing because I didn't activate it, anything under here. Uh, you can just uh, drag and drop from here the set data. And I will activate the ground mesh set first. Here, yeah. then you can see the activated mesh set under here, the working window. And the first uh, stage, uh, you need to activate this rigid link mesh. So just drag and drop. The first stage is uh, like a pure ground condition. So activate every ground. Uh, not the structural mesh at this moment. And also you need to activate the boundary condition and self weight for the initial stress analysis. And you can change the stage name under here. So I will use initial and clear displacement, check. And under this analysis control, you can choose a lot of undrained material behavior. Check. Okay. And you can define the water level also here. Check. And one meter. And choose the initial. Save. You can see the water level here. Uh, when you key in the two, then the water level is two times from here. Then if you are putting the 0 0.5, the water level is here. So by using the one under here. Okay, so before that, I will show you the clay material. I assume it with the undrained parameters for the clay. So I did check all of the undrained material behavior here under the analysis control. Okay. So uh, create the next stage. Click new here. Yeah. Save. 
the next stage is uh, apply the surcharge. So surcharge for the name and activate this surcharge. See? Before, after. And also, you need to check on this allow undrained behavior. And clear this placement again until the insert the retaining wall stage. And you don't need to change the water level. Save. And you. Retaining wall. I will activate retaining wall mesh set and interface. So when you activate this interface, you don't need to stay with this uh, rigid link anymore. So I will deactivate this rigid link. Okay. Click the undrain behavior. And clear the displacement. Save. So the next stage is excavation stage. So first excavation and deactivate this first excavation mesh. Deactivate here and check on the range behavior. And at this moment, you need to check, change the water level for the first excavation. Save. And the next stage is uh, First strut. So activate this S1 here and check on the range behavior. Okay. And second excavation. Deactivate this one. And check on the range behavior. And need to change the water level for second excavation. Next, second strut, check. And the next stage is the final excavation level. So deactivate this mesh set, check the undrained behavior. And need to change the water level for final excavation level. Okay, save. Uh, so uh, I uh, just now I finished to define the construction stage, the analysis stage. So close. And you can hide and show your water level. Just on check here. And also uh, you can verify uh, your uh, construction uh, analysis stage using the simulate the stage here. Like this, and you can control the speed under here. Okay. So uh, when you finish to define the analysis stage, then you need to create analysis case to perform the analysis. So right click on here, the analysis case, click add, and give some title, excavation. And uh, when you create this uh, construction stage set, you need to select the construction stage under this solution type. And if you uh, create more than one stage set, you can select under here. That means uh, you can carry out the analysis more than one from one file. And next, uh, under the analysis control, click here. Uh, you can assume the KNAC condition for initial stage. Click this one, the initial stage for stress analysis. Check this one, apply the KNAC condition. So uh, this condition is kind of condition for initial stage. If you uncheck this one, uh, this is a gravity condition for initial stage. 
in this case, we can use a KDA condition. So I will check this one. And under the nonlinear tab here, and you can control the error tolerance here. And then and you can control for the error tolerance. Okay, I will use a general one, the default. So uh, now it is finished to create, defining the analysis stage under here and create the analysis case to perform the analysis. So right click on here, what you create and just click the solve, then the analysis will be performed like this. Okay. And uh, let me open the result file, what I created before. Uh, so when you finish the analysis, uh, you can go to result tab here. Then you can see the stages, uh, what you created. So initial stage, surcharge, retaining work, excavation, strut, excavation, strut, and final excavation here. And when you double click this one, uh, you can see the displacement and thrust beam element force. Uh, you can extend like this. And also you can control the window like this. And under the dis displacement, uh, you can see the total displacement like this. And as I said, you can hide water level like this. And uh, when you check on this uh, minimum and maximum value, then you can see the directly see the maximum value and minimum value. And you can control the control line here. And continuous, you can control the contour like this. And you can add a mesh like this. Okay, uh, so you can control the unit system directly under here. Change to meter and change to millimeter. Okay. So under the truss element force, uh, you can check the strut action force. And you can control the just show and hide your strut first and second. Then you can directly see the values for the action force from the first strut and second strut. For the retaining wall, uh, it is assumed by beam. So click this, double click this beam element force. And the moment. Uh, I will change the unit. They directly see the maximum value and minimum value of the bending moment and shear force as well. Okay. And if we want to check the settlement of the ground, it's a TY. Uh, this coordinates is they follow this one. So, yeah. Okay. So the ground settlement is here, is around 1.7. But uh, you can use a cutting diagram also to check the ground settlement. Uh, using this one. Like this. And right hand side, set about. Okay. Then you can see the created diagram here. And when you right click on here, you can see the show table. And you can see with a table format for the this line. 
and also you can control the number of the point and here the division you can increase the point with here then you can see more values under the table and you can directly uh, copy and paste to spreadsheet just control c and control v Okay, and you can hide and show.